show. Oh no, because Peter's is reflecting. Yeah, we we we're gonna look like a couple of angels. We just got this glow going. All right. Okay, we're here at um, the Guilford Country Store, and I'm sitting here in the cafe section with a couple of folks that maybe come here often and maybe could tell me a little bit about why they come here and what they like about it. And um, I'm sorry, what's your name? I'm Mike Hebert. I'm the state representative for Guilford and Vernon, and okay. I come here for a multitude of reasons. Okay. Food's great. All right. People are wonderful, and I get to meet my constituents. Ah. So it's a good meeting place for you. It's pretty much the only meeting place between yeah, here and yeah, Vernon. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I see across there they just got some pretty good breakfast sandwiches there. And I'm going to go in the back and check that out in a minute. But um, I'll swing back to you. All right, now I have you two, this young couple over here, that were telling me that they come here and they like to come here. And so tell me, why do you like it here? I like it here because there's company to chat with, and the, and uh, I've also lost about uh, 90 pounds because I come and have yogurt every morning, so that's a good reason to come. That's true. That's what I have to do. Well, that's good. How about you? Yeah. Well, it seems real nice, and the people are real nice here, and. Um, so anyhow, Mark suggested I come over and just chat with you guys for a minute, and I appreciate it. And um, as soon as this is up on the web, we'll send you the link, and um, you guys can watch it. Okay. No tolerance. All right, now you just told me something very interesting. First of all, if you don't mind, what's your name? My name is Janine Malin, and my brother here is Jim Malin. Okay. And good friend here is Donna, and they live here. Okay. But I live, they live in Brattleboro. Okay. But you know what? I live in Asheville, North Carolina. And I just said, hey, when I talked to my brother coming here, I, he said, we've got to hit the Guilford. The Guilford because it is a place, it's so down home. Oh, yeah. You know, you can talk to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we need in our country. We need this desperately in our country. It's to sit down, and no matter who it is, you talk to them. Good seeing you. Take care. Well, it's kind of... It's not... Yeah. It, it's country. I mean, look at the tables. The people are really yeah, nice. Yeah, real wood. And, the and, art. The art. Uh, yeah, okay. I didn't I miss Laura. that. Yeah. Oh, Laura Zindel. Look at her oh, beautiful yeah. work. <laughs> they, they, she sells that at... Um, Ruggles and Hunt in oh, Brattleboro. Uh -huh. All her pieces are there, wow. and um, mm -hmm. she's pretty cool. I met her at the gallery walk one time. So, what are you guys eating here today? And, and then you can tell me what you were going to about her stuff. <laughs> Always the same thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> the well, it looks good. <laughs> can hardly get it in your mouth. Right. It looks so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, these plates are Laura's and Dell too. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I didn't see that. Pretty cool. So were you going to say something about up here, or? I was going to say she said you can find mugs here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stuff's for sale. Okay. You like a table? All right. See, very good. It's art and community. Yes, And that exactly. is what, Appreciate to me, it. is the real essence of, uh, of what we need to be about in our country at this well, point. Go. This is in the world. That's art and community. Bring well, people together. You're not texting. I like that. Uh, oh, I don't text. You know what? I don't text. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't text, I like conversations. Exactly. All right, guys, I'm going to stop now, and I appreciate you talking to me for a minute. Thank you. Okay. Are you the owner, the manager? What, what's your position? My wife and I own the store. Okay. And uh, go ahead. 
We opened in uh, July of 2013. Okay. The building had been purchased by a not-for-profit. Yeah. The building had been purchased by a not-for-profit in uh, 2010. Okay. And they bought it from the previous owner, who was going to sell it to a Cumberland Farms, possibly. Oh, 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 oh. And this group got together and decided that they wanted to maintain the store as something in the community that would bring people together. Exactly. Uh, uh, all right, so you're going to, I'm going to stop. Can you even hear me over here? Yeah. Yeah. Don't film the dish station. Well, we'll film where the where the food happens. It's part of the deal, though, you know. And I see you have every bit of food creates dishes, I suppose. And you have Laura Zendel, and that's kind of cool. Yeah. Laura, uh, Laura was very generous with us uh, when we opened the store in terms oh. of uh, plates and mugs yeah, and I saw all on the that table. sort of stuff. Yeah. She's a member of the board now, really? so she's been uh, incredibly helpful to us. All right, so All right, what so we are we going to do here? We got a steak going down here. All right. Now somebody's going to eat that already? Like it's Someone will eat 10 o'clock in the morning? go into the case. Oh, all right. And when it goes in the case, what is it? Like, what does the case say? Is it marinated? It or is, is it? a uh, Tuscan flank steak with oregano, rosemary, and lemon. Whoa. And garlic. I'll Can't take, forget the garlic. I'll take that whole thing home. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we've got. Uh, you want to? Yeah, before you get on the burrito, you want to bang out a breakfast burrito? Perfect breakfast for us. So you said you have, you're pretty sure you have the best breakfast sandwich in town. Yes, but you can't say that. Well, you can't say that. You, everybody's got... <laughs> and sometimes when people come for interviews and stuff like that, I say things that sometimes I don't want to. You, no, you can say still, that. No, not, I can't. You're not going to say it's the worst breakfast sandwich Well, it's surely town. not the worst <laughs> breakfast sandwich, but enough other places make breakfast sandwiches in this town. Yeah, I would never uh, disparage another business. Okay. No, I'm just, I'm here and you can. Uh, you want, we can walk around to the other side of the case. All right. We've got a big blackboard here full of sandwiches. Yep, we've got a wide range of different types of sandwich, uh, protein sandwiches, vegetarian, hot sandwiches, cold sandwiches. Uh, probably our most fav our uh, most popular are the Godfather Italian yeah. sub and the cheesesteak with Vermont cheddar and grilled onions and peppers. My mechanic saved me a lot of money a couple weeks ago, and I came here and got him the Godfather just because he saved me. Again, yeah, probably one of our most popular yeah. sandwiches, and he loved it. So, okay, so we're going to talk about the case here yep. a little bit, now. and then. Uh, you know, obviously after the uh, sandwiches, we have a whole pastas and green beans to roasted beets and our most popular salad, which is the kale salad with uh, red onions, feta, and toasted hazelnuts. And it looks like I'm coming over to that steak so maybe this is a we've steak. got the steak down here that we yep. do the tuscan steak pretty cool uh, we do a lot of burritos we make a lovely burrito mix here that we put together all right we like to change things up do we have a chicken curry that's very popular oh, see that steak cooking over there it looks good all right maybe we can go over and um the young lady was going to make a breakfast for 
just recently started after much discussion putting together a classic breakfast burrito. Here's a okay. breakfast burrito that we've begun to do. It is a uh, white or wheat wrap with your choice of meats and cheeses, avocado, arugula. It comes with a beautiful black bean, scallion, jalapeno, and salsa mix. What's in here now? What's in this particular one? In this particular one, we've got cheese and cheddar, or uh, cheddar, and eggs, and avocado, and oh, beans, yeah. and bacon, and salsa, and, and arugula. <laughs> If somebody's going to eat all that at one time. Someone is going to enjoy that thoroughly. <laughs> and rolled oh over. God, look at that. Sliced and wrapped. Pretty cool. Look at that. Beautiful. Right. Nice. I just had a little peanut butter before I came this morning. But it wasn't enough. Okay, go ahead. Since the store is so community-based, we okay. decided that we wanted to set up a uh, charge count for people. Okay. So that people could come in, put money down on an account, and when they come in, they could just sign off and, and walk away. And then you subtract it from we their... subtract from the total, yeah. and uh, they're happy they're able to get through here quickly. Exactly. And just know that they can walk in, and if they don't have a dollar in their pocket, yeah. there's something yeah. that they can Sounds buy. familiar. All right, Mark, thanks a lot. And I'll let you know uh, when this goes up. And cool. um, I'm going to take your business card so I can uh, well, send you the here. link. Is that mine? That's mine. All right. There I'm going to stop. Go.